I've been having some issues with religion recently after a few friends of mine became born again Christians and strongly tried to convert me. To the point that I had to cut off calls and walk around the neighborhood to shake off this feeling that I had. But after thinking about it quite a bit, on this religion and spirituality front, I'm understanding stuff a little bit better and have a new way of looking at it. I've been thinking about it as if there's three layers. You, the individual, you're on the bottom layer. The religion, priest, dogma, all that, that's on the middle layer. And God, the universe, the logos, that's the top layer. Back in the day, religion said they spoke to God so that they could convey the message of God to you, which maybe they actually did but it would be certain shamans or spiritual individuals. The teachings weren't available to all. These shamans had intimate knowledge because of various practices that allowed them access to the universal truth. With time, this got bastardized as people were brought into the religions as priests because they fully bought in and they did want to help. The issue is that they didn't actually have the knowledge to speak to the universe. So then, since that part of the religion was lost, purposely, in fact, now the only reference they have to God is this book, or these mantras, virtues, rules, whatever. They don't have the actual wisdom, but they think they do because they studied this book more than others. But these priests only had secondary wisdom. But that, in Pali, is Suttamaya Panya, wisdom gained by listening to others. They didn't actually experience God, and so don't have Bhavanamaya Panya wisdom gained by direct personal experience. But we also had to run a society, and these people in power, they were priests and kings. And so they added some things in there that God said that just so happened to correspond with things to personally help them out. It probably actually started with good intentions, but then, like all things, it got corrupted. And so I do believe that the bottom layer exists, and I do believe that the top layer exists. But that middle part, that part, it's corrupt, and it's best not to trust any of that blindly. In my vision, you do have to surrender to the universe, and getting your virtue set does allow contact with the universe. But blind following of dogma is not the way, and anyone who says it is, is mistaken.